With you. <laughs> Name, age, and where you from? Oh, me? Yeah. I'm Shelly. A lady never tells her age, but I will say numerically. Hey, Shelly, can you speak in a mic Numerically, right it may. I don't want to talk about my age. Age is just a number. Shelly. I'm 39, but I don't look your typical 39, so I'm proud of that. I'm originally from South Plainfield, New Jersey. Okay. Shelly. Yes. You look 39. It's okay, Shut though. Shut up. No, it I don't. It is okay. Fuck off. No, I don't. See, I can't. I can't curse. Listen, I'll no, be real. You can now. You can now. You can curse. Thank yeah, God. Yeah. No way. I don't look anything like 39. And if you've seen the, my 39, and I know it, and I'll tell you how I know I don't look 39. Sure. Because one of the saddest things I've done recently, a few years back now, when I first became single, I went on Facebook dating. Uh-huh. And if you want to be depressed real quick, go on that. Okay. Because you'll see what they put that they think that they line you up with according to your age. And it's yeah. not correct for me. And I saw what they thought my 39 went, and I was like, I am not a bitch that matches with that. So I went down about 10-year bracket, and then I was like, now we're talking. Oh, so so I don't accept. Was pl- that was I cat- identify, you was catfishing people. No, I identify <laughs> as 33. People can identify you whatever are... the fuck they want now. Age I of... identify so, as Shelly. 33. I was identifying as 29. It just changed so, it. You're welcome. Shelly. I went up four years. You are an age identifier? Yes. <laughs> wow, that's new. Yeah, I just made it up. And you know, guess what? I love hey, it. Chad, I identify as 33 because I could pass. You got guys identifying she as pass, women. She could pass Shelly, for like 25, Shelly, 30. Shelly, Shelly, you don't look 33. Listen, you say what you want. I will defend my honor. I know what the internet has taught me about what a hard 38, 39 looks like. And it ain't me. It ain't me. I'm telling you. The females my age, they get the crow's feet. They're, uh, they're angry. Shelly, I got you. Let me ask you the questions. But thank you for the charisma. Right, you know. What uh, What do you do for a living? I am military. You and are. I am, yes. Thank you for your service. How long mm-hmm. have you been in the military and what branch did you serve in? I've been in longer than I will get credit for. And I am CIA. But they don't like to put women in that position. They don't like to acknowledge women in that position. So I don't get the look at me parade, which I don't give a fuck. I don't need a look at me parade. Because when you do the right thing, you don't need a look at me okay. parade, right? I don't get a uh, pin. I don't get any of that. So I it's got hard you. to say how long question. I've been I got in. you, Shelly. So you said that you're in a CIA. Yes. And that's because I said, what do you do for a living? Humanitarian. So right now that fund zero and the government takes everything you have from so you. So you used to be in a CIA. No, still, this is current stuff that I'm doing, doing current. military efforts overseas. Yeah, I can't talk about everything. So you're I do. currently in the CIA. I know. I know. No one would believe that. Dirt. I can't talk about anything further than that. Shelly, I don't know if you remember, but this podcast is called Snow Fugazi. It's okay. Fugazi. <laughs> you ever hear of special ops? Of course. Okay. Special operations, too. So this shit's not made up. I don't want anyone coming at me and acting like what I'm saying is crazy or that too I have Tourette's. Late. Did it. Or I don't give a fuck. The chat can come at me. They can find me. They can come to my fucking door. I have nothing to hide from no one. I know yeah. exactly who the fuck I am. I know who I work for, and I know exactly what the fuck I do, and I come correct every motherfucking time. So the chat can suck my dick and say whatever the fuck they want. I may act like it. Maybe some pussy-ass men that need to step up to the plate because they're intimidated by a bitch that's got a mouth on her with uh. a fucking honest attitude need to okay. say that I have a dick because they got to compete with that and go, a bitch can't talk like that. I've been through a lot of fucking shit. Yeah. So when people want to come at me with bullshit, I'm a fucking mirror because you know what you're doing? You're just projecting your bullshit on me. I am mm. calm as a motherfucker. Okay, so I don't want I anyone see. coming at me. You could chat this. You can call me a man. Talk <laughs> about my acne. Uh-huh. Here, you want to get on this? Here, I got stretch marks. You know what? I'm proud of those because my kids came from those. Kay. You could say whatever the fuck you want. I know who I am. Okay, so, so Shelly, you are in the CIA. Yep. All right. <laughs> Laugh at me um, all you want. Two master's degrees plus 12 credits. Another smart question. Motherfucker, straight A pluses and three simultaneous jobs all while in school. Another Boom. question for you, Shelly. Relationship status. Uh, you're, are you single or in a relationship? Right now I am single, yes. Okay. When's the last time you had sex? That's a private question. Okay. I just, I mean, you were talking and saying everything else, all the other business. I thought you'd probably give know. that up. I don't know. Maybe a week or two ago. A week or two. What's your body count? I don't, I have no idea. You have no idea. You no. think it's over 20? I have over... no idea. I don't keep track of that. You don't keep I track? never, I really don't. I'm not ten, like a dude. T- that... 10 or above, what would you I say? I don't know. You have no idea. I really don't know, and I'm not going to say I'm going to be a lady about okay. it. Well, fair enough. I just want—I mean, you were telling everything else. I'm no, like, but that's part of my life. Let's see what else we no can one, get out I'm of I'm not her. inviting anyone to that, <laughs> so I don't need to invite. I already invite. I gave you already more than I wanted to there. Fair enough, Shelly. So your last relationship was when? <clears throat> Maybe a week ago. A week ago. Oh, yes. Okay. I have not going to get into the details, but I have been through some highly traumatic shit. Okay. Well, real quick, but I'm not going to go into it. I'm just going to say because of that. I am finding it is 
phenomenally difficult to be in a relationship. Shelly, and it's okay. We could tell you're hard, and it's quite fun. You can make but fun of me. It's facts. I know it's I know making fun through. of you. I'm just stating not the obvious. But another question for you. So you said that you was in a relationship about two weeks ago. How long did that relationship last? That was a very short-lived relationship. It was like a two-week relationship. And before that, I had a three-year relationship. Before that, I was married since I was 16 years old. Same person So two 16. weeks, did he like, was he like, hey, you want to be my girl? And you was like, well, yeah, I'll be your girl. Or what was it? Or was it just like a little fling? No, it was a relationship, but I think he's an addict, and I think he's in denial about it. Yeah. And I know I still have the addict mentality, the brain of one, and the things that I was addicted to are very scary things, and I don't want to ever be addicted to the. I smoke cannabis, I'll admit that, but... And you smoke cannabis and you're in the CIA, is that eligible to do? If you're able to carry out your position and your disposition accordingly and carry out your job respectively yeah. and do what you're supposed to do and act appropriate and not let whatever that is get in the way okay. and you're doing legal shit and you're not doing nasty shit behind anyone's back. You could do but anything But if people are doing things and you're altering yourself and you can't do your job. Let me ask you a, another question. So you said that you used to have an addiction. What not, addiction not, did you have? No, 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 no. What addiction did you have? Years and years ago. This was before the CIA? This is prior to that. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, not oh, at all. Oh, oh absolutely to to not. Yeah. Absolutely not. No, they're not going to let some... No, absolutely not. All right. Uh, let's go with... Uh, have you ever been on... No. Never. Okay. Uh, fun fact. I know what it's like to die and come back so to life. So you died before. You can make fun of it. You can call me crazy. You could uh, say I'm so lunatic. That's a fact. In your past life... And there's a lot of people in hospitals that they experiment on, especially minorities. Yeah. They will flatline you and they'll bring you back. This is some that real shits. That yes, that wow. happened to me. Let me ask you, Shelly. I'm Shelley. not saying I'm an already. I'm so, saying that that is shit Shelley, that they did to I'm not. I'm just asking questions. And you I'm said that you died you. and came back. I wanted to know before you died, were you a CIA agent or no? I'm not going to answer that. Okay. There's fair a very enough. interesting indoctrination ceremony that they have when they make you. You ever hear about being made? Have you ever heard of made the term? What? You know what, your show is called No Fugazi, no Fugazi. right? Yeah. So you know what, if you're an Italian gangster, you would know exactly what I'm talking about when someone says you Fugazi, you would know what a made man was. Well, you can elaborate for me. You can't name a show No Fugazi, what Italian I would term, say and not that tell me you don't know what a made man is. I don't really consider an Italian term. That's not the reason why I made the name, but we can get into that in other ways and other times later so, from my interpretation of that that's like someone that made it in life they're successful that's how i interpret it is you, that your same you interpretation made, or no? that means no one fucks with you but they don't do that at free cost so Will, you're made is, they there there's certain ways to make you do you think they just it. indoctrinate you into an agency like that or some military grade shit without doing some serious military grade torture on you so they and made some you real that way tortured shit i have been through shit that maybe you don't know about and i feel like you're insinuating i'm making it up man i'm telling you i've been through some real fucked up shit so and yes Shelley, look, i'm very intelligent just they don't like, waste intelligent tough boss bitches like I got me you, Shelley. okay well my got a time so just like she said that she was a virgin <laughs> and we challenged her on it and everyone and even you said well i don't really know if you're a virgin i do believe her no one knows if this is true just like like no one knows if she's a virgin so that's i'm just fair. asking questions that's fair. that's fair fair enough fair enough but uh, cool i know because I'll, I'll tell you what if i heard someone say that to me about themselves five to ten years ago you would I, ask another I question think, about it i would it. be like that's crazy that's some crazy shit i maybe believe the dying back to life thing because i've heard stuff like that i'd be like oh well, what was that like but the other shit would sound crazy but they make it so crazy that no one would believe it fair enough move okay and what about you I think I'd say giving them the kids, and then they took the kids from me unlawfully, but my children. When you see a woman torn open, literally and figuratively, we gave them kids. for you, you should worship the fucking ground she lives on for the rest of her goddamn life. Unless well, why a... were they taken away? You're in um, the CIA. Oh, yeah. No, what they do is they torture you. What they did was they didn't know that at the time. They put all their money on the, my ex who worked at Hackensack Hospital in a very powerful position there. So we had a lot of gang members. He's saving some gang members. He'd be killing off other gang members' kids. So he got certain protections on the street, you see. Oh, when you okay. end up in the helicopter and you end up in the major leagues up there, they have you do some dirty tasks. They act like they're all heroes in the fucking sky, but maybe we're flying organs around. Maybe we're flying kill this guy and then we're hiding mm. butt over there. They took my house from me, my kids from me, all my money from me because they brought me to a hospital to have me tied to a bed, drugged, raped, flatlined eight times in ten uh, Can you not say the R word and switch it to grape since we're on YouTube? Uh, all right. Whatever. you. I won't even say the word. Okay. They did nothing wrong to me. I ended up with ejaculate fluid on my face, my chest, my pants cut open, and it was there as well. 
and that's not made up. Then they tied me to bed, drugged me against my will, held me hostage in the hospital to silence me because they didn't realize after they flatlined me times that I had a cardiac pacemaker put in years prior that they didn't yeah. know about. So I was able to actually regulate myself back, and that wasn't good enough, and they brought me to where my ex also has affiliate hospital, Hackensack's Carrier Clinic, or I, I call it their carrier concentration camp. What hospitals do is they will use um, these dental hospitals if they have medical malpractice or if they do some really nasty awful shit to you in the hospital uh -huh. they bring let you let me in ask and they you a question you real quick this is all good it's a good unique story it's um, a fact. but i kind of want to know your state of mind because hey, i'm very I'm, clear i'm into extremely uh, clear i could not be a more clear sound mind than no I you're am speaking in. super clear i appreciate that a yeah. very clear mind i could not be a do more clear you mind. believe in the illuminati yes i figured do you think, because I'm a big conspiracy theorist and I believe in Illuminati too. We actually talk about it on its own. Oh, it's on my I know podcast. a thing or two about Illuminati. So wait, wait, wait. So you're in the CIA. All this stuff happened to you in the hospital. It's Do worse. you think that it's some type of Illuminati type situation? Yes. Oh. It got worse because when they brought me to carry a clinic, what they do down there is they have a whole coming to Jesus, wake you back up into the life Ch and a whole revival Jesus thing. So they put you in the basement. They torture you. They do every kind of you military grade Jason torture Bourne? until you can't breathe. They take away your oxygen. <laughs> they Jason. drug you in the basement. Trust this is all real talk. They, they rape you in the basement. They lock me in between doors. They did that. They kept me for days with no water. The only thing they served me was hard liquor. I literally was prepared to either dehydrate myself to death or hey Shelly, let to me death. ask you another question. Right? So you said that well, the best gift you ever gave to a guy was how many kids? Two kids? Yeah, two children. That they two children. Let me see and it's from the, from one guy or two guys? One. My marriage. From I was with someone since I was sixteen. I married him at I got twenty four, and I had two children. Got for a guy was two kids. Move on. This guy said move on. <laughs> I do have a question. So, I mean. Has there ever been a situation in your life that you think, because you're telling these stories and they're good stories. They're facts. They're um, not stories. They're facts. Even if they're facts. You're they telling, are 100% well, I'll say facts. this. You're telling your story. So we're not yes, even going to judge fair. if it's fact or fiction, but you're telling your stories. Now, all these stories you tell. So here's a question. Have you ever done anything wrong to provoke you getting your babies taken away? Bad I have done nothing to, to justify my children being taken from me and given to a man that rapes and murders it's people great, in Hackensack Hospital, including great, underage great, bodies great, in a yeah. morgue. And that's who they're protecting. I have done nothing. I you never even laid nothing. a finger on my children. I never even hit my kids. So never. was this around? Remember, never. you said that you had an addiction problem. Was your kids taken away at the time where you had an no. addiction problem? No, actually, so at the sober. time when I needed help, no one was helping me. And then when I got clean and everything, then they brought me to a hospital. I didn't even have drugs in my system. I had cannabinoids, legal cannabinoids in my system. They were drugging me in the hospital after that. And then when they brought me to carrier concentration camp, they were putting fentanyl patches and drugging me down there with drugs that I didn't even have in my system. They were drugging me after. And then they forced fed pills to me in that carrier concentration camp. They make you got take you. pills until you leave. They want you on the drugs. They don't like. I was Shelly, another before. question for you, because it seems like I mean, it's just me who is, thinking. Who's they? The Illuminati, remember? That's oh, what she said. I yeah, didn't say the Illuminati. Illuminati. I, well, said I thought that that's the, what you said. The government has taken my children, my house, and all my money because if you're a military member, when you come back from your service, yeah. they abuse the shit out of you. They take everything away Got from you, you and so then they Shelly, allege you and then try to a make it like you can't live on your own. Not so good things happen to you in your life. A lot of bad shit. Yeah. A lot of bad things. Most most of the last year and a half. Anywhere. Throughout all of these things that happened to you in your life, do you think that you had some responsibility for it happening to you where then you can take some accountability? What was done to me is not justifiable. If I stole from so you and you want to come whatever. steal from me, fine. Okay. We gotta nothing move right justifies, along. I just wanted to nothing know. Justifies just wanted to taking know, my children, my house, and all my money from me it. and torturing and abusing and raping me and abusing nothing. me and rinse and repeat and then blaming it. me for it. We gotta move nothing. it on though, Shelly. Thank you for the story. It's a fact. It is a story. It's, a, it's, it's a, my story and it's a fact. Right. It's I will not story. address it. When people say story, they're trying to change a narrative like I'm crazy. I will not take a charge of being crazy. Hey, Shelly, once again. Um, what's your name again? Taryn. Mm -hmm. Taryn said that she's a 34 year old virgin. That's extremely hard to believe. I do believe I her feel, though. Well, let me finish and let you know what's going on here. Right. I do. So 
listen, Shelly, look at me. No one's attacking you. No one's trying to say I anything. I guess it feels like... I got you. Let me finish so you can hear me out. I'll let you speak. I didn't interrupt. Fair enough. But I still don't believe her. And you still I asked don't believe her, no, her? I got you. And I asked her questions, probing questions to get more, an- to get more information. Her, let actually? me finish. Because uh, yeah, well, she's telling the story <laughs> and I'm asking her questions. The same thing I did with her is the same thing I'm doing with you, but you just speak a whole lot more. So I have more probing questions. Fair enough. All right. Got it. So that's why no one's attacking you, trying to make you feel bad. Why don't now you they're cra- Now they're crazy stories. There are stories. It could be your Fact. story. You, you hear some shit that people go through where you're like... So listen, the man's nature from what he desires from a woman is sex. So that's that main commodity. That's like your main agency. Because from sex comes his legacy, kids. Mm-hmm. And then the man's main commodity, if you strip everything down... You want this man to be a protector and to provide for you want security. You know what I'm saying? So that's the equivalent. If he's inadequate, can't keep a job, lacking a masculinity, if someone slaps your butt, he doesn't have the bravery to go ahead and protect you and stand up for you. Well, you're going to look at him like you're going to break up with him immediately. It's going to be no questions asked. Just like if you take away sex away, he's clapping other cheeks immediately. So I would say that's the equivalent because attraction isn't symmetrical, it's asymmetrical. So what the man wants in you, we don't want the same thing back in you. Like mm. that you said communication, love, and all of these yeah, you things. Don't want a man That's talking what, you don't fair. want that. We don't you want know? a man talking as much as we do. We want you to tune out some. We know you tune out sometimes. Yeah, it's and, fair. And, but not only that, like I know that you do want those things as well but like the the main thing that's equivalent to sex i would say is protecting and providing i kind of have to agree with you on that a lot of it is very primitive it is you are looking for a man it doesn't mean he has to go out and hunt but there is a certain element that kind of goes back to that because for us you're right the number one drive for us i don't believe for most women i would say is not the sex but for men i would agree with you number one drive for ladies is security now of course y'all all emotional Mm. creatures so you do want like the things that y'all said is valid but the closest thing to equivalent, because nothing is equal, but mm. the closest thing to equivalent on that a man could truly take away. That, I know what you were saying. Because men, if you flip it, then you'll be like, well, what's that one thing? Because for you, if you're truly a virgin, nothing is compared to sex. That's why you have so much sexual temperance, because you know the importance of sex. Yeah. So then it's like, OK, for us. The most important thing is like, yeah, we'll talk to a girl, but when we're providing for a chick and willing to take a bullet for a girl, that's the top. And sex is like that mm-hmm. top. Good stuff, ladies. And holiday tone. Good question, bro. I see you in here. Uh, we got Gus sends in $2. He says, she's 33 and re... Okay, can't say that word on YouTube. Uh, let's just say... If they're talking about slow. me and they're calling me retarded, I'll happily take that charge. Call me retarded all you want. <laughs> I don't care. You can call me retarded. You can call me autistic. You'd say I have Asperger's. That means... Have you been called that before? The, no, but I don't care. I know people make fun of me that let way. Me get, let That's me Shelly? the kindest, hardest... Hey, Shelly. Hard, Shelly. Kindest, Shelly. 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 real quick. People, I got you, The Shelly. most honest people me you'll ever meet the and the funniest people you'll ever meet. And people could say whatever they want. I'm a very intelligent woman. I when you're an intelligent you. woman, Shelly. people want to come at you with your this or that. Intelligence is called listening and communicating. Listening, speaking to but I'm not going to hear people passive aggressive say like a half thing, like 33 and er, I mean, and like pretend response, that I don't know Shelly? that you're trying to allude in a passive aggressive <laughs> manner that you're trying to call me retarded hey. and make fun of Shelly. my age, and it's not Sh- working. There's Shelly, one person that's doing it's one person that's speaking to you right now. I know, I got. It. I'm uh, just saying. I'll let you get your rebuttal, but then it kept going. So I'm like, yo, I got chats. You're going to keep going, so I got shut. <laughs> like even what you were saying to me earlier, how you want to like live on a farm. How are you gonna do that if your man's not providing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other thing with the, with the money thing is, men need to make their own money. I'll tell you why. I think a man needs to make his own money. I'll tell you why. Incorrect. Feel like you don't feel like a man's ego no. gets hurt when they're not making. A, if they got a woman that's doing everything for them, taking care of, making all the money. Aren't they going to feel like I'm not fulfilling my purpose as a nope. protector provider? No, they're going to want to take That's advantage. Fair. You have so, to... But most men, do all men feel that way? I mean, so the reason why you think that the man is insecure because he's maybe making less than a woman is because subconsciously the woman views him as less. So what she does is she projects her view of the man onto him. Think about it. If you're making more money than your man, obviously you see him as less. Like, oh, he's inadequate. Then if you're seeing him as less, what follows next? You start to speak to him as less as well. So first comes a thought, then comes the action when you're actually treating him as less. And then what that does is that that creates conflict in a relationship. Depends what the money is, though. Like, say she's got stupid a lot of money, but what if it's like... 
the disparity is too large. Like, you know, it's where the maybe one part you said was true in the beginning. If a woman is making a whole lot of money, normally that dynamic doesn't even work because he's not even a qualified option for her. She looks Can't past even him. look his way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kim Kardashian, J Lo, uh, uh, Beyonce, all of these women in the higher upper yeah, echelon, up yeah. they don't even see most men. They don't even these see me. These dudes are invisible. <laughs> I'm invisible. <laughs> like they. These dudes is transparent. They see through men. No, what? They it was guys. Through me. I thought that's, it was just a lady. <laughs> Look, those women yeah. walk in restaurants and live lives <laughs> and walk through <laughs> malls. Don't shame me. Look, they don't see <laughs> anyone at all. Friends, also, you yeah, get the that's reactions. The, that's where it's gonna end. They you don't see saying? anyone at all. It's, oh, it's very know. transparent. So all I'm just saying is, I get what you're saying. The first part, yes, if a woman is making more. Uh, the guy should still be working and putting his best foot forward first because he still wants to maintain a masculine frame and masculinity is being the best version of yourself. So working to always try to be better. Yes, he still wants to work, but the woman is always going to look down at him in most cases, but it's not because she's looking down at him because he's looking down at himself. No, she just views him as less because women have a hypergamous nature. You naturally, it's in your nature to want a man that's just better than you. Like, you want a superior. You don't want an equal. Like, think about it, ladies. In all aspects, if you had to choose your dream guy, you would want him taller. Show of hands. Oh, we know. Dream guy. I think it, it makes me feel more secure. Show show thing for me. Correct me if I'm wrong. Wherever I'm wrong, I'll let you know. If you don't put up a hand, we'll talk about it. Now, dream guy. Taller than you? Show of hands. At least, okay. at least a little bit taller. At least preferably bit. making more money than you? There. Yep. Yeah, probably. Oh, okay. it does. I feel like money. See, I said I money's less. I said preferably less. making more money. Oh, okay. Then yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> also, more competent than you are. Competent is the ability to complete tasks and accomplish goals. Oh, I need a man that can do more competent. Comp yeah. I feel like competent. That's a little bit, yeah, I know, but I feel like that's a little bit convoluted because more competent in certain things. Yes. Yeah, men do excel I mean, at certain things, I'm and sure females are not no, more that's competent. A fair, that's a fair point. You do acting, have... and you sing. No, no, she's got a fair things. point. There's certain things that women we task better at, and there's certain things that men task better at. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I want him I more competent. Competent in the man, areas you know that I mean? you look for. Yeah, absolutely. exactly. Okay, so more competent. So think about it, ladies. Would you like the men stronger than you? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. okay, hundred percent. Yeah. Ladies, this proves that you want a superior being. You don't want but they, any man. We're, equal we're afraid to, you. to say that, and I'll tell you why. And you guys can argue with me if I'm wrong on this, because the second you use that word "superior being," you're putting this guy in this plateau where we always owe you something now. Don't when, always. No, but see when it, but when it's phrased like that, and I'm not saying that's the intentionality behind what you're saying, but when it's phrased like that, it kind of makes us feel like they're on a higher level. And then, like my ex thought he was a higher level. I and want the man to be on a higher level because I don't know. Like I kind of want the guy to make the decisions. Like I want him and most to... women do, and that's yeah. okay. Uh, okay. Like, that's his God-given role as a man. When talk, this is just faith because I, I don't know anything else to think about. But Adam's job was to overlook the garden, and he failed in protecting his lady, which is why when you look at commercials and when you see commercials targeting women, everything is so pretty. It's everything is shopping. We're colors. We're everything is targeting us because we're so. Uh, Women are more vulnerable. susceptible to outside influences yes. than men. So this is For why men, the job is not the superior. It's the role biblically is the man's job. The husband's job is to love his wife as much as Christ loved his church that he gave his life for the church, True. correct? Mm -hmm. My job as a wife is to submit to my husband, right? Because we as a church submit to the word of God, okay? And it's not an obedience thing. What do and you mean by my, submit? What do you mean by submit? Submit is like, for instance, I want to. I don't want to say like to know your role, but we, sh we ought to know. Naturally, yep. we know our role. I like, we nurture our, we have kids. We nurture our kids, right? And then our husbands will go out and, and, and pro work and provide, right? And naturally, he'll protect us. But if a man, let's say, like, these two are fighting, naturally, we don't want that, but we let them do their man thing, right? Maybe I'd be willing to submit if he was doing the providing he's and protecting. To. But if he's not doing the providing and protecting, Correct. I don't feel like so submitting he's failing as a It's in your nature to submit to a man. It's in a man's nature to submit to God. It's in the kid's nature to submit to the parents, mm -hmm. right? So it's an order to things. God over man, man over woman, woman over children. That's just the order of life. 
And the reason is I'm not making this up. Think about your answers to the four questions. You want a superior being. So obviously if you get that, you will automatically submit. It's not like you will be pressured to submit. So that sentence the, doesn't happen got, when it's right, pressured. The word that you nailed it with right there was pressure. Yeah, it doesn't happen with pressure. Because it that happens pressure makes right. you really yeah. yeah. protection. You will naturally want to submit that because I you agree feel with. secure. I, and right? sexually, it's very, very true. And that's true. what it is. You haven't very met, true. You very haven't true. met right. the right, right man. That's true. To want to submit. Yeah. That's why. Yep. And that. then also I you were saying something and I, I, I wanted to reply back to it before the conversation kind of went off on another topic. But you were saying Me? not you. It was <clears throat> Shelly. Shelly, you said something on the lines of, well, I think that when oh, what was the convo about? It'll come back to you. No, 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 no. It, it's right there. You were you were talking to her and you said that, well, I think, what was it? Like something wasn't natural. You said I'm like, wait, what? No, I got to speak on that you kind of interpret it wrong anyways it'll probably come back can i say what, what i you had? wanted sure. to say so i said money was last because like i feel like that's okay money's important in a relationship but it's also something that can be worked on together for sure like yeah. you know that other person can help you and i chose looks as number two because you know i, I want to be attracted to them you know i want to be able to you know, like they look more attractive like, you know, when they're making money. I'll tell you right now. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, they start looking a lot like, better I'm, when they're making I'm, their own money. money. My order is gonna be the same as hers because, um, like, I don't want ugly children. Right. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> you see you're no, very beautiful woman. You're you're very lucky, it. very beautiful. But there's some people you get two ugly people make a beautiful baby. You get sometimes two oh, beautiful right. people make an ugly baby. You're right. Right. You're right. You've you're seen right. that. But it's the, but it's true about what she said. I want to be attracted to. Whoever I'm like, be you know, like the rest of my life. money, something that we could work on. Like, let's get you an interview. What happens like, when I get all you... old and wrinkly? Though? We're going to be retired. But, but see, that's a little bit, that's that's a little bit different, though. I don't mean, like I'm a... the reason why I would put money last is not because it can be worked on. That's not really why. It's just more so because I'm not trying to. No, I'm saying the reason why I put it last is not because it can be worked on, because okay. it has to do with so much more than just. You know, if the person has a job and they have drive and mm -hmm. they're working towards something, but they just don't, you know, even they love what they're doing. The guy loves what he's doing, you know what I mean? But he is working towards something, but he's just not making that much money right now. That's something you can work with. For sure. But you can't really work with someone who has no from, drive and no motivation. It should be innate. The yeah, right. ladies, yes, the right? it it's very simple. Money, motivate, like drive, motivation, all of these words. If you peel back the layer you're still expecting money at the, some point. Mm -hmm. So that drive and ambition in a man and him being assertive and dominant and have the will to create a good future for himself and for you, that's just money at the end of the day. Yeah, Watch. but I guess the thing is that what's money, you know? Mm -hmm. Like Staple. enough money is enough money. You don't need to make $100,000 a year. Well, yeah, men and like, women. Okay. And gay yeah, men. So there you go. And gay women as so, well. So, <laughs> so, the amount, oh. so the amount of people actually making 100000 is so low that it's like, you know, it's, that's why I would say it's not a camp. It's not the top of my list because okay. What's the first and the second thing on your list? Loyalties first. Loyalty first, and then looks. Okay, so you got the same as hers. Yeah. What about you, Denise? What's on your list? It was three things. So it's money, loyalty, and looks. What's the order? Looks. First. Yes. Okay. I have to be attracted to you. Homie can slay something else. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got. To. I'm not gonna be in a relationship with somebody I don't find attractive. Okay. Fair enough. So What's the second thing? Loyalty is a huge thing because it shows me Loyalty. his moral compass, right? Discipline, consistency, and then money. Okay, fair enough. What about you? Loyalty, money, looks. Loyalty, money, looks. Okay, loyalty, money, looks. All right, fair enough. All right, let's get to the next super chats and ladies. I know some oh, of you have written one. down some questions and stuff. We gotta yeah. get to your questions too once I'm done with the super chats. Okay, cool. We got. Okay, Mansa Musa sends in a dollar. Appreciate the support. We got Red Pill Goku. You in here, bro. You back. He says, Shelly, OD on H-bombs to the vein and was... What? Just <laughs> break the, Just put the subtitle. What does that say? Yeah, yeah, man. I understand what you're saying. What I, I saw. Yeah, don't even need a breakdown. <laughs> Holiday Tone <laughs> says in $2, who is your female role model? Can't say mom. This is a good one. Oh. Who is your female role model? Can't be your mom or your grandma. 
Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Chat, she's 18. <laughs> this is what Kim K is doing. What? <laughs> No, because I why? feel like people hate on her, but she is a lawyer. She has her own business. Like, she works hard. So She had to do that because they it, were right? filming her naked all the time and making money off of her own shit. Shelly, That's the only reason she did it, beat him a bunch. Shelly. I'm just saying. Can't, did the same thing me. One mic at a time. So, God dang. What did you say again? You said something about Kim K and... She's a lawyer. She She's a lawyer. Business. She has her own business. She has her own business. Got it. I'm saying mm -hmm. that the way she got there to even become a lawyer... And has her own businesses was by selling a sex tape. That's not true. So, uh, Rob, if the Kardashians, they, they Shelley, used his lawyer father, they murdered Shelley, him off for the OJ um, case, I'm and sure they had to buy protection for life. And the only way they could afford protection for life is they'd extort them sexually, and that's how they bought the protection for life. Uh, uh, Otherwise, they kill off their uh, family. Uh, uh, that's how it works. I'm sure the Illuminati took that path, but let me just You finish. can make fun of me all you want. I, get, I guarantee you she'd agree with me. Okay. Kim K, you talking about? She'll agree? I think Maybe if, if so. she defends that the fact that they film her all the time against her will naked and they're making money off it, it's kind of a way to say, I'm done with you filming me naked Got against it. my own will Got and take, making money off it. At least I'll show you myself for myself and make my own money off it. Yep. Then, yeah. Shelly, we're going to need you to take it down from I'm a 10. Calm. Bring I'm it calm. I'm calm as a, a cucumber. I'm just saying Bring I'm defending my state. I'm right, defending my case. It. So. Basically, what I'm saying here is, and if it happens again, I got to kick you off the podcast, okay? Okay, that's Got fine. It. Yeah. I'm good with uh, it. So, basically, I'm saying that Kim K, yeah, she's a lawyer. She's accomplishing things. She has a business and things like that. But the route she had to take to get there is v immoral, right? And you said that you're a woman of faith and stuff like that. So, if she's the person that you're holding up as a role model, meanwhile, she took an immoral path to get there. It's like, well, you can't take that same path or you would have to do that same immoral stuff. It's not realistic. Well, I guess I don't look up to her past, but she grew from that. And She's like... defined by her past. She will always remember. Every, think about it. We still talk, talk about it now. That Ray J sex tape happened 15 years ago. Ray J did an interview with Shannon Sh 20, talking maybe? about it. And it still got some leaked videos that will still some clips. Have you uh, seen it? Actually, have leaked. you seen the sex tape? Bro, she's 18. Let's not talk about how she ever seen the sex tape. Her poor kids. I haven't even seen it. I didn't even know there was one. No, but I'm saying like she well, could wait, have been out. so embarrassed you by You didn't that. know Did that she did the intentionality of I don't really releasing it? Pay. Hey, one mic at a time real quick. Sorry. Uh, no, no, you're fine. I'm I don't asking really you a question. pay attention to like influencers' lives really kind of just focus on my wow own. chat she didn't even know that kim k got all these billions but well, it started from the ray j sex tape how long ago was the sex tape like what bro it was a long time ago. long time like yeah, it was she like, had to have the oj case, case. Was like, she had to yeah, forge her own security detail that's how she had to do it that's what they she do to make born. you forge your own security detail uh, after the oj case they were came and killed her and raped her family that's how she secured her security detail shelly if it happens again you kick me out now if you need to yeah let's go ahead you out here let's go Steve, keep the camera on me. Can you walk her out? Shelly, you got to go. We, we could, we could, you got to hand it out another time. Yeah, she might, phone, she yeah. definitely it's on the table. There you check. She kept talking. You know, the, you know the chat called this and yeah. she's going to be the one to go. Craziness. Chat called this and she's going to be the one to go. <laughs> Craziness.